Hi everyone! Hope you've had a good week. This video is going to be uh, an unboxing video because all week long I got a huge amount of stuff just happened to show up all in the same week so I thought I would just do a compilation of you know unboxings and stuff. So enjoy the show! Hi! How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. I'm really excited. I got a package and it's my. Can I open that? No. Oh, that's not true. Yeah, <laughs> this is so cool. It's the um, new colors in the tin. It's dented. That's too bad. Uh, yeah, anyway, this is like new color thing from last year, I think. I saw it on eBay and was like, damn, I need to get that. Because it was on for cheaper than at my LNS. So I just thought I would share this with you real quick. I know, it's nothing super fancy-pantsy like, you know, Weak Style Works or whatever, but I've never ordered an entire tin of, th of floss before. This is so nice. I am very, very excited. Yeah, wow. It's a thing of beauty. Ha! Huh. And of course, it came with the book. in there. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. Nice. Very, very cool. Anyway, I'm going to bobinate now. Ah. This one's from the Witchy Stitcher. I am so excited. I am stoked. This is really exciting. The Witchy Stitcher sent me a package. Well, Meg is her name. And she didn't like send me the package out of nowhere. I actually, you know, bought and paid for it. <laughs> but, you know. I ordered it like I don't know, the day before yesterday or something. Come on. I've been talking with uh, Meg. Oh, I thought it was like a packing slip. Oh, that's so cute. She like wrote my name on it. <laughs> um, I've been talking with her on Instagram and she says that like there's not very many Canadians that buy her stuff. Her biggest uh, demographics are like the US, Australia, I think she said somewhere in the UK as well, but not Canadians. And I'm like, dude, why not us? <laughs> That's weird. Oh my God, what 
did she do? Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's a sachet with a needle minder in it. Well, thank you. <laughs> Pretty creepy. <laughs> well, thank you. That's a nice little gift. I'm going to put it right here with my other ones. Or, oh, wait a minute. I thought this was a needle minder. Oh, no, it isn't. It's a pin. Oh, that's fun. That's really cute. That would be easy to turn into a needle minder, though. Because you just need to take this pin back off and just glue a magnet on there, and you'd be good. That's what I might end up doing with it, actually. Because I don't have any, like, I've only got, I think, one or two kind of Halloween-like ones, so this would be good. I like that. Thank you. That's a nice little extra. Oh, and a sticker. Oh, how fun. It's her logo, but it's a sticker. <laughs> Very cool. All right. She's wrapped this all very nicely in, oops, in black tissue. This is a really cool kit. Oh, and she made me a card. Thank you. It says, thank you for your order, Danielle. Hope this is better, <laughs> better than high school biology. Happy face. <laughs> Meg Black. Aw, thanks, Meg. That's really nice. I'm excited for this. This is really, really interesting and unique. <laughs> Isn't this so cool? It's not actually a cross stitch um, design. It's, um, well, you'll see. I mean, if you haven't seen this design of hers yet, that makes sense. It's pretty new. But it's a kit that comes with all the goodies you need. So there's stuffing, just polyester fiber fill, it looks like. Um, we have floss on a really cute card. <laughs> so yeah, red and pink. There's a bit of blue, white and ecru. But it's all the DMC codes are all there on the fun little card. It's a business card. And we have... Oh, okay. Fun. Oh, and she gives a little... There's a needle. Very nice. And... Oh! These are Velcro... Velcro circles that have been cut in half. They're stuck onto square well, rectangle plastic pieces. It's like she cut the circles in half. And we have nice, I guess, to stuff the mouse. It's just a bamboo skewer thing. Felt. Multi craft. What kind of what, what kind of felt is this? It's just craft felt. I thought maybe it was wool. It feels It feels nicer than like the cheesy stuff at craft stores. So you might, it might have some wool in it, which makes it feel nicer. Yes. Man, lots of little bits and bobs. Oh, here are the other sides to those Velcro things. These are the lo loops. Oh no, I guess this is the hook side. Right. How fun is this? It's like a little um, a book with the pattern and instructions and things in it. Oh, cool. I'm just having a look-see so that I can be sure 
that it's okay to show you. Um, these are basically just the the shapes that you need to cut out of the felt. And yeah, these are the actual like proper like instructions with pictures on how to make this felt mouse that's like dissected and like cut open like in biology class. <laughs> that's why she joked about that in her card. I saw this and thought, my kid wants a mouse <laughs> for a pet. <laughs> Our daughter really likes, she likes everything. She likes all kinds of critters. So, anyway, our daughter really likes all animals and she um, really wants a pet mouse. And I was like, we have three cats. How in the heck do you expect to keep any kind of a rodent? Like, there's no way. Plus, I hate rodents. They're disgusting. That's why we call them vermin, right? Yes, that's right. So, I thought, when I saw Meg had this out as available as a kit on Etsy, I was like, dude, man, I have to get that. That's really good. So, I'm going to build um, like a shadow box, I think, and put this, once it's all finished, obviously, I'll put it, um, I mean, she's got hers pictured in one of her kind of trademark black frames, which is really nice. I like that too, but it would look cool, I think, in like a shadow box. So it's still covered and it's behind glass, but it allows it to be 3D obviously and uh it would be like having your own little like specimen from the Mutter museum or one of those weird oddities museums so yeah oh this has been such a fantastic week for deliveries i can't wait for other things all right <laughs> thanks for joining me for this unboxing <laughs> i'll see you soon Don't forget, everyone, uh, if you want to see this channel grow and thrive, remember to like and subscribe, hit the bell, turn it to gray, and uh, it'll all be good. We'll go on this journey again.